Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can cross flash your Samsung devices and use a firmware which is say the unlocked US variant on a carrier branded device. I will be using the Samsung Galaxy A54 for the purpose of this video. Now all the relevant links are in the description of this video and do note you are going to lose all your data so make sure you have a backup of all the data which you have on your device. Another important thing to note over here is that you are going to get software updates after you have cross flashed the firmware so this samsung galaxy a54 was running metro pcs firmware but i have successfully flashed the u1 firmware and as you can see i have just gotten the security patch update and this is the one from october and i can say install now and that is going to install that specific software update on my samsung galaxy a54 so again without any further delay let us get down to business all the relevant links are in the description of this video the first thing we need is usb drivers for your samsung device in this case the samsung galaxy a54 so you will go to this website developer.samsung.com slash android hyphen usb hyphen driver and you're going to select this link this is going to download an exe file for you and this here is the exe file which was downloaded next up we are going to double click on this to install the samsung usb drivers if you get a message about do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and it will say samsung usb driver for mobile phones we are going to select yes and here it is this is our install wizard we're going to select next over here our language will be us english united states of america of course if you want to change your region and language feel free to do so and this is our path we're going to select install now once the process has finished successfully we're going to select finish next thing we need to flash our samsung galaxy a54 using Arden is Arden itself and then you need the firmware as well so for Arden, i am using the one from xda developers of course as i mentioned in the beginning of the video all the relevant links are in the description of this video so this is the version which i'm using Arden, and this is the patched one because this will let me install a firmware which is not supposed to be installed on my samsung galaxy a54 so right now i think i have a carrier based version and now i am upgrading to the unlocked version of the firmware for the samsung galaxy a54 so i am cross flashing the only thing which you need to keep in mind is that if your device has two variants say you have a snapdragon and an exynos variant you cannot cross flash so exynos based samsung devices can only cross flash exynos based firmwares and the same thing for qualcomm then you need the firmware itself and this here is the firmware and this here is the website from where i got it again links are in the description of the video both of these were zip files all i did was right click on them and say extract all so this here is my Odin. this is the executable file and then this here is my firmware for the samsung galaxy a54 5g next thing we need to do is we are going Going to boot our Samsung Galaxy A54 5G into download mode or fast boot mode or bootloader mode whatever you want to call it so this here is my Samsung Galaxy A54 first thing I recommend is that your battery should be charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent make sure you have removed your sim as well along with your micro sd card then we can go into security and privacy and you can remove your fingerprints face unlock pin password whatever you have set up then go into accounts and backup manage accounts and remove your samsung account and google account once you've removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this so that once you've installed the firmware you do not get into factory reset protection mode wherein you have to enter your google account and all those things before initial setup so to avoid that issue of getting locked out of your own device i recommend you remove all the passwords accounts security measures remove your sim card and your micro sd card as well another thing we are going to perform a factory reset when we are flashing using Arden. So make sure you've backed up your data. And then we need to boot into bootloader mode or download mode. So 
first of all we are going to turn off our samsung galaxy a54 now once the device is turned off what do you need to do you need to press and hold volume up and volume down at the same time and while you are pressing and holding volume up and volume down you need to connect your phone to the computer using a usb cable so that is what we are going to do i am pressing and holding volume up and volume down and now i am going to connect my phone to the computer using a usb cable volume up and volume down are still pressed and pretty soon we should boot into this screen so here it is it is telling us a custom os can cause critical problems in the phone and then to continue we have to press volume up so that is what we're going to do press volume up to continue and bam there it is you can see we are now in download mode bootloader mode or order mode and now we can go back to the computer now once you're back on the computer we will go into our Auden folder and we are going to open the Auden application it is telling us please be sure to delete your google account or samsung account before downloading the binary so we're going to select ok over here and there it is you can see my device is being detected how do i know you see over here com4 this means that the galaxy a54 is being detected now all you need to do is select the files so we will select on bl and then you need to go to the folder where you have extracted the firmware in my case it is in the sami folder this is it and you need to select the bl file we're going to select open next up we're going to select ap and select the ap file over here select open now do note based on your computer's memory it does take some time so it is checking the md5 right now it is telling us please wait so you have to be patient once it has added it successfully this thing will be check marked ap and you will have the path over here like we have for bl so all we need to do right now is to be patient all right so there it is i did get the message of order not responding but i was patient and now we have ap added next up we're going to select cp and select the cp file over here again same thing it was checking the md5 everything was good next up for csc because we are cross flashing our samsung galaxy a54 we are going from the carrier branded firmware to the us unlocked firmware we are going to select the file of csc do not select home csc because that is going to keep your apps which means your carrier branded apps will still be there we do not want that so we're going to select csc over here and select open and again the same thing everything was checked now all of these four are checked user data you do not have to do anything we can go into options auto reboot is selected reset time is also selected everything else is unchecked and we can now go back into log and then the next thing all you need to do is press the start button and there it is you can see it has now started flashing the firmware which is the us unlocked on my samsung galaxy a54 again the process is going to take some time so you have to be patient all right there it is once the process finished successfully our samsung galaxy a54 is now rebooting and in order we got all threads completed pass and at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer and there it is peeps you can see that we are on the setup screen on our samsung galaxy a54 do note after cross flashing your firmware from a carrier branded to the unlocked variant the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient